So today's session, I am going to cover how to convert PNG file into PDF file in UiPath using code automation. Okay, so let's get started. First, open your UiPath Studio and click on process. So once you click on process and just give the process name. So here I'm going to give the name PNG to PDF converter. And followed by, so I'm going to give the description like converting PNG to PDF converter. Then click on create. Okay, now the UiPath project setups are ready. And uh, now if you click on this design tab and if you click on new, there are a lot of workflows available that you all aware of what it is. Okay. And from this, I'm going to cover this coded workflow preview. Still it is in preview mode and uh, we can expect soon in uh, enterprise uh, uh, UiPath Studio as well. And uh, so just click on this code workflow preview and provide your name as it is how we are going to give for the workflow. So we can write this C sharp code on this particular window and I'm going to give the right name of this use case that is PNG to PDF converters. Okay, then click on create. So once you click on create and you can able to see lot of namespaces here. So these namespaces we are not going to use because uh, we are we are going to handle in a different use case with a different library. So I'm going to delete all this. Okay. So anyhow, we are going to use this using uh, this namespace uh, system and system dot au and all. And for that, I'm going to clear it up uh, everything. Okay. Now I have already inbuilt that code uh, with me. I will write those code uh, there and and I will explain it. Okay. And here I'm going to paste this code. Uh, this is the code is going to convert PNG file into PDF document. Okay. So we have a different namespace here. Uh, system uh, system dot IU and uh, I touch shop. So here there will be a question. What is I tech shop and why I'm getting error on this I tech shop. It's very simple. I will explain what is I tech shop. Then followed by I will explain how to import this namespace into UiPath Studio. iTech Shop was a popular open source library for working with the PDF files in the .NET framework. Okay, it's a very simple in .NET framework. iTech Shop is a one of the popular open source library to handle with the PDF files. And the library was based on the original iTech library which was written in Java. Okay. And with iTech shop, developers could perform various PDF related tasks such as creating a new PDF document from scratch, adding text, images, tables and other graphical elements to existing PDF documents, merging multiple PDF documents into a single PDF, splitting or extracting specific pages from a PDF file, Encrypting and securing PDF document with password and permissions. Filling interactive forms in PDF files. Adding digital signature to the PDF documents. Extracting text and images from PDF for further processing. So, the library was widely used in various industries including finance, legal and document management where PDFs formats for storing and extracting information. In our case also, we are going to convert PNG file into PDF file. So that's the reason we are going to use this iTech shop library. Okay. And then I hope now you are clear about iTech library. Now I will go back to UiPath Studio. So here, how to import iTech shop library. It's very simple. Go and click on this manage packages. On this manage packages, click on all packages. In this search bar, just type iTech shop. Once you click on iTech shop, 
you can find a lot of dependencies here so i'm going to choose write.net itex shop dependency here it is okay so here i can able to see itex shop dot net standard okay from itex group so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to click on install then click on save so the moment you click on save if you go and see there is a new dependency added and also the error we have seen right that is gone okay now this is the time to explain the code so before that we need to add the path okay so let's say i have a input uh, file here that is a, a png file which is in the path of this one okay the input path so i added that particular path into input image path here and also i want the output also in the same path with pdf extension okay so let me explain all this code one by one so that you will be very familiar and also i will suggest you to learn c sharp and vb.net it will help you a lot on your automation platform okay and uh, followed by now i will explain all these codes one by one we start by importing the required namespace system system.io itechshop.txt itechshop.txt.pdf so these are the very important names for this particular use case then we define the program class which contains the main method this is the entry point of our application in the main method we specify the path of the input png images and the output pdf file then the main method then calls the convert png to pdf method passing the input and output file path as a argument in the convert png to pdf method we start by creating a new document instance the document object represent the pdf document we are going to create then we use try catch block to handle any exception that may occur during the conversion process inside try catch block we create a pdf writer instance which will be responsible for writing the pdf content to the output file then we open the document using the open method next we load the png image using the image.get instance method provided by itech shop this method reads the image from the specified file path to ensure the image fits with the pdf page we use the scale to fit method to scale the image to the size of the pdf page finally we add the scaled png images to the pdf document using the add method after adding the image we close the document using the close method in case of any exceptions the catch block will handle the error and print a message indicating what went wrong okay so this is all about this code if you start learning uh, c sharp and vb.net this code explanation will be very easy okay so now we are done everything uh, let's uh, execute this code okay go here in the debug and uh, click on step into and click on continue okay the execution was successful and go here in the input file to check the output see here there is a pdf file created just double click on it here you go okay your image file added into pdf document okay so this is how we need to use the code into ui path to convert png to pdf document you can automate anything using this code workflow this is called hyper automation right you can uh, use code as well as you can use other activities uh, uh, vice versa okay and now there will be a question so i have written the code here and uh, i directly executed this code how to invoke this code to work it's very simple okay and go to this main page and here i am going to add the activity called invoke workflow okay invoke workflow file drag and drop and click on this browse icon so here you want uh you want able to see that uh, uh file format and i am going to click on all files 
and then I select this PNG to PDF converters.cs okay and I click on okay so now you see uh, I added the workflow here and I'm going to close this and I'm going to delete my PDF output as well and go and run it okay the execution was successful and go and check the output here is your output so this is how you need to invoke your uh, cs uh, workflow into uh, your workflow and also there will be one more question and here i added a hard code right and how i do uh, pass your variable within this code that is very simple so how we do as usual uh, in other vb uh, code or uh, macros right so that's how you need to write the code here i created uh, with a hard code method and you can write the code and you can you can write or you can modify the code based on your need or else you can convert this entire uh, packages as library then you start pass your uh, values into your codes so this is how you can create your code automation in ui path and subscribe to our channel for more coding tutorial and tips thank you for watching and happy coding